Good morning, good morning. Dr. Gary here on the road. We are dental practice brokers nationwide. Excuse me, it's a little sunny. I'll put my glasses on. Uh, today's topic is, when should I begin to worry when there's silence on a dental deal? We'll get into that. As you know, we're involved in 28 states. We have 10 employees now and we are nationwide. The information you're about to hear is for uh, entertainment purposes and our opinion. It's not legal advice or business advice. So you can reach us at 201-663-0935. And our website is dentalpracticeguide.com or Nationwide Dental Practice Brokers. So please give us a call here at your service. If you work, want to work with the DSOs, give us a call because we work with them. They'll often pay our, our uh, commission, even though we're independent. We know a lot about them. We work with them on a daily basis. But uh, call us on that. You get be tuition. Most cases are tuition or commission free. And often, if you work with us, sometimes we can get your legal fees reimbursed on clo at the closing table based on certain criteria. So now today's question is, how long should you wait? When you should begin to panic if you're not hearing from your uh, your dental attorney? Or not your dental attorney, excuse me, you're not hearing from the buyer or the seller, one or the other. You know, I'm the broker, of course, and when do you start to be concerned? I just had something this weekend. You know, we're in the right middle of a deal. We just put a deal together. We're ready to go to the next step. We need the doctor's attorneys. And they're not giving it to us. So 48 hours went by. Then 72 hours went by. At the end of 72 hours, you begin to get a little concerned. Because I don't care what it is. Even if it's a holiday weekend, people are responding to email, text, phone calls. So when do you start to worry? I'd say wait until 72 hours. Maybe 120 hours. But usually wait until at least 72 hours. Do not panic. Because everybody could have something else going on, especially on a holiday weekend. They're busy. They didn't see a note. They lost your cell phone. They lost their cell phone. Something could go on in their family. Don't let your mind run crazy because you haven't heard from the buyer or the seller. We, me as the landlord, uh, me as the broker, I do become concerned and I do try to communicate. And just this weekend, it was 48 hours for the one doctor to resurface because we needed the dental attorney. It took them 48 hours. The other one took 72 hours. That's just the way it is. Sometimes you have to be, wait, don't let your mind run crazy because you haven't heard from these people. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. You've got to exercise patience in these transactions. You must have patience or else you're just going to go crazy. Okay. Thanks. Bye.